The Battle of Chancellorsville was one of the most influential battles of the Civil War. This battle started on April 30th, 1863 and lasted seven days until May 6th, 1863. This battle was fought in Spotsylvania County, Virginia, and was the fourth costliest land battle of the Civil War. The Confederates won this battle despite the Union having strength in numbers. It was a defensive victory for the Confederates as the Union failed to successfully surround the Confederates. Robert E. Lee and his soldiers outlasted the inslaught of Joseph Hooker's Union Army. Joseph Hooker was a military officer who most notably served as a major general of the Potomac Division of the Union Army during the Civil War. He was a former brigadier general and accumulated a very good reputation throughout the war as a reliable combat commander. Robert E. Lee was a military officer for the Confederates and was a West Point commandant. He was a Confederate general and led the Army of Northern Virginia. Lee was a legendary leader and was a famed strategist. Thomas Stonewall Jackson was a very well-known Confederate commander in the Civil War. His first coming out party was at the First Battle of Bull Run, in which he rushed to fill a spot in the Confederate line that the Union was trying to penetrate. He stood like a stone wall and defeated the overpowering Union Army for the first win for the Confederates in the Civil War. Freddie erupted on May 1st when Lee divided his army and sent Stonewall Jackson on a quest to strike Hooker's right flank. Jackson's men attacked Major General Oliver Howard's corpse and caved the Union line. Little did Stonewall Jackson know he was going to be mortally wounded by his own soldiers in a case of friendly fire during the Battle of Chancellorsville and die eight days later from mortal wounds. Going to set up camp to kill Stonewall Jackson. Here we go. He's a goner. This battle showed that despite a lack in numbers, the Confederates could still compete with the Union because of their outstanding commanders. After this battle, Joseph Hooker resigned, and he would be succeeded by Ulysses S. Grant, who was a future president of the United States. Joseph Hooker was a military officer who had most notably served as Major General for the Union. Ah. The battle was won by the Confederate Army. This was a defensive victory for the Confederates as they... I'm so dumb.